It's always good. <laughs> There's mine. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Figure oh, yeah. Action. Coming at you on July 6, 2018. July 7th, if you're in Australia, like our buddy Adrian here. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Having a good, having a good uh, post-holiday. And uh, ready to talk some toys with me tonight. We've got parts former. How you doing, doing, y'all? We've got... T Man 978. How you doing, man? Hello, everyone. <laughs> that boost mobile went out already. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he ran out of minutes. He ran out of minutes or something. I'm more quick than it. We've got Adrian. Hey, hey, hey. And of course, as, as always, we have Matthew Deluxe Baldwin. How you doing, man? Hey there, buddy. I'm, 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 I'm doing good. Thank you for having me back. I really appreciate it. Glad to have you back. We still have to get episode zero up. Not that's not self indulgent. I I swear. I swear it's not. <laughs> sure. but, uh, our, our first episode, we were having some audio. We're coming now. We're recording with Discord and uh, and uh, another recording software. In this episode, sounds and, uh, silky smooth. Mister Deluxe is having some trouble with it. He, he seems to be coping. Maybe not the best with Discord. Are you okay now? Do you think it's better, man? Uh, it still sucks. It's he, disco. I don't care. He can handle change in his toy lines, but he can't handle change with technology. Yeah, that is so true. Are there not enough hollow parts in this Discord for you? I mean, <laughs> uh, you can, you know, you can leave if you want to. <laughs> there's no, there's no, there's no waffles. This isn't a waffle house up in here. Mm, I love some waffle house. Not IHOP anymore because it's iBob. iBob. <laughs> why, why did it change to iBob? What happened? Burgers. International House of Bubbles now. I, I love how House of Burgers. I love how Wendy's was the first to jump on their nuts about it. Like they could get pancakes, <laughs> yeah, right? Twitter so, thing. The, the dude running that Twitter for Wendy's is fucking classic. He's no. awesome. the, the, the Wendy's Twitter is brutal, man. You <laughs> awful. Yeah, he fucks with McDonald's all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, when your when your mascot's a clown, you know. Come on now. That is true. Oh, well, their mascot's a. Redheaded stepchild. So, you know, <laughs> literally, literally, she was Dave St- Thomas's. Uh, I actually think she was a foster kid, but but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but enough about that. Yeah. What did uh? We'll start with we'll start with uh, parts former. What did you get this week, man? Let's see. Uh, we uh at the meetup today. We had a meetup all the local Maryland guys, and uh, T Man picked up from his local Ollies an Octone for me. That was one of the ten dollar octones. Wait a sec, did I go through a time tunnel? <laughs> did you? Well, you said the meetup today. No, I said uh, did I? Okay, the meetup last weekend in Maryland. Yeah. Woo. He missed. Did, 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 I, ones there, did I go through a time tunnel? I mean, that that's the question. Well, I was gonna say I recall you getting the octone there. I was like, did I go through? I the got time? the octone there. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but that's. <laughs> he all realized that over time. Um, what else did I pick? Uh, in my local GameStop, I actually picked up a Ben Presto uh, Bakugo from My Hero Academia. And if any of you in here don't know those words that I'm talking about, I suggest checking that anime out because it's, it's really cool good. Yeah. We're not watching it. That's, on, that's on Netflix. Is it's it on Netflix? Netflix? It is here. Well, if it is there, then, man, you need to get on that. Um, although I think it's got a lot of the uh, uh, anime tropes that you don't like, like the high school and the slice of life stuff. It's got some no, of that. So. I hate that shit. No, I can't watch it. <laughs> so that's why it's I never be... recommended it when we had this talk before. Yeah, yeah. If it, if... I can't watch that. <laughs> it's going to have either, like, mecha or ninjas. Or... This has point. superheroes. So if that's your, you know, if that's your bag. Yeah, look, if, yeah. If there's not like a penis coming out of a vagina, I'm not mm. interested. Uh, there is, but it's not on camera per se. They don't oh. animate that, but I'm sure it's oh. happening in the background. I mean, oh, it's, good, good. you know. I mean, if you if you look up My Hero Academia and Tumblr, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you'll find all kinds of fantastic. <laughs> yeah, someone's found a way. <laughs> like a, Ian Malcolm, life yeah. finds a way, man. Uh, yeah. And then just this evening before the we started recording, I hit up Target, who has a ton of clearance items now on uh, Markdown. And I got a bag full of good stuff that I'm going to record later, and you can check out that stuff on T Man's channel. There's a shameless plug. Nice. If he just <laughs> if he decides to use the footage. Well, speaking yeah. of 
And that's his left. discretion. That's if I'm good well, enough for him. Now now he kind of has to. You've shamed I, him into I know. Isn't that <laughs> Well, I can find excuses. <laughs> now, I also got a I also got a comic book haul of a couple of pieces. But I haven't gone through that yet because I keep buying comic books week after week, but I haven't read any in about uh, two months. So don't worry about that. Uh, I'll wrap up mine with that. I'll head it on. Uh, you're, you're not going to say what, what you got because I've been reading Doomsday Clock. That's about that's about all I've been reading. I tell you what, I will uh, make an effort to uh, read up through some of them, and I can talk about it next week. It works for me. Yeah, cool. All right, so T Man, how about you, man? What'd you What'd you get this week? What did I get? I got um X Trans Box Toro. <laughs> huh? What? He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm you. He said not better internet. Can you all hear me? We can hear you. Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, I said that. Well, I'm gonna that start funny. ignoring him. I got X Trans Box Toro. He's not here. And um, uh, and I got also um. <laughs> The Legendary Heroes Flipper. I guess moving along. I guess. Bumblebee. And, oh. um. <laughs> what else did I get? I got the Marvel Legends Ant Man and, um. Are we stopped? Yellow Are we Jacket. Ah, oh, that Yellow Jacket looks so good, too. I watched your video. <laughs> Thank you so much. And, um. I can't hear Team Man. I don't hear you. I, 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 I can hear him. <laughs> <else. laughs> If, oh, I, if I got anything else, I can't remember what it Do is. Do I have a muted or something? You'll, you'll be getting a new headset <laughs> next time I see you. He <laughs> <laughs> sounds like he needs one. Well, yeah. I mean, not 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 he, you. No. <coughs> da, 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 da. All you right. can't think of anything else, T? I cannot hear Team Man at all. Um, How y'all hear me? I hearing can't now? remember. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> we can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Okay. Ball Ball was was good. Talking, no, I seriously cannot Jesus hear Jesus Team Man Christ. talking. I can, I can hear y'all talking and not hear Team Man at all. He's talking, man. We'll, we'll, talking. Tell you when he's, we'll tell you when he stops talking, man. He's talking. Weird. Why can I not hear him? You, you need to relax. <laughs> I, I thought he was trolling, honestly. Yeah. I, I thought he was, too. <laughs> I'm he I, 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 I obviously cannot hear him. I really cannot hear him talking. Oh, really? I see the thing moving. I see him lighting up and everything, but I don't hear him talking. Can you adjust the volume on him? <laughs> Let's see. You should be able to right click on him and uh... Let's just move on. It's it's a it's a Matthew problem. Oh, God, yes, just stop telling him stop talking. There we How go. about say so y'all good team man? Is that everything? Everything gonna mention? Yeah. Yes, that's all, all right. I can think of right now. That is fucking weird. Just exit and come back in. Yeah. While we wait, Adrian, what did you get, brother? What'd you get? Uh, a terrible cold. Um, I didn't a give child it to coming you. What's up? Uh, okay, I'll be in soon. Thanks. Catch up. Sorry. My four-year-old made me breakfast, and he told me it's getting old. <laughs> uh, no. So I got, you got KFC. Right. I can hear you. I can hear you now. Yeah, good. Welcome. Um, KFC did car um, because reasons. <laughs> everyone knows. I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. I I messaged um, Keith and I said, uh, "Can you just put those parts in for me and send me one?" And he's like, "Yeah, fine." So it came with the parts all installed, and oh, nice. I'm pretty happy with it. That's actually yeah. pretty cool. They were pre-installed. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. Um, I got the Toro, the Bad Cube side swipe. Um, he's cool. He looks amazing. Looks great on shelf. Super poseable. Everyone would have seen the reviews by now, but um, he's a bit light and there's a few gaps. And the knees look shitty, but I never had a side swipe. So for me, I'm just because I'm late to the game, I just... Um, get options and then uh <laughs> something a bit classic i got some fans toys i got the bombshell and kickback because i only had one insecticon so i managed to uh find a gray chest bombshell and a kickback in the states from a friend who sent them over nice very nice do you uh pay and they're heavy 
No, not too bad. I paid around shipped around three hundred Australian dollars, which is like two hundred and fifty or sixty of yours for both. For both ship shipped, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Not bad. it's a really good deal. Yeah, you can knock up really, all those things. Oh yeah, they're so heavy, man. It's insane. They're um, they're tiny and they're heavy. Yeah. Um, what else? I think that's all I got. I got some extra clear um, acrylic steps to go like in the shells, so I can uh, have raised figures at different levels. I got some more of those, and I got a new LED system I haven't installed yet. But it's um, uh, normally it's sixty or one twenty lights per meter, and this is two forty, so it's going to be crazy bright. Nice. Yeah, and that's it. That's me. Very cool. Yeah. Deluxe. Who else? Deluxe. Yes. <laughs> what, what did you get, man? How can I help you? <laughs> oh. Um, what did I get? I got... Uh, can anybody hear Deluxe? Uh, what? <laughs> hey? Back, I can hear you, man. Here. What is, that like, what I can doing? not hear you, dude. Whenever you talk, I can hear all of you except for you. I'm good, I'm good, I hear you now. But you um, just answered him. No, yeah, I can hear you now. I couldn't hear okay. him back then. Uh, all right, good. Um, what did I get? I got X-Transbots Toro, I think. Um, I, I might have said that last week, but <coughs> I got him. I got the um, Tot Returns uh, Ramporn. Um, I got the um, Legendary Heroes uh, Bumblebee, which I fucking love. It is a beautiful little Legends figure. I think I might actually uh, pop my Legends cherry on that. You need to get dude, this transformation is so cool. The back wheels tuck into the to the um, his chest. Uh, the only bad thing I mean, and, and this is nitpicking. You know, it, the wheels don't roll, but I, that's fine. But it, it is yeah. so the wheels don't roll. Yeah, the wheels don't. They're stationary. They just they're just there. Yeah. But it's so cool. And the transformation is fun. It, it just it's a really neat little bot. I love it. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I don't like legends. Okay. I tried. Oh, no. I, I drank. I drank the Robert D. Kool Aid. I bought all of them, and um, just on the shelf, they're too small. I think I'm too big for Legends. That's a problem. See, <laughs> uh, my thing is like they. If I were to get them, yeah. they would. They would kind of like serve, you know, to go with my uh, my Metroplex and. Uh, Perfect for your Metroplex. Yeah. Oh yeah, for that kind of thing, they're amazing. But I, I don't have enough big bots for that. Uh, see, I, I, oh, be, care, be careful with the gun. Be careful with the gun too. It's. Re- I mean, it stays in, but you can lose it, and it's really small. So just be careful with the gun. To be fair, though, that that Iron Factory Windblade when it first came out, that's what it was meant to do: was to pair with the Titan figures. So yeah, that's yeah, what they yeah. were going for at first. So yeah, yeah. Iron Factory. You're awesome. far off base with that. Iron Factory is one of my favorite companies. It's their legends are. Solid. I love all their legends. Yeah, they make good legends. Um, and today I went to Target, and um, like uh, Mr. Parchform said, they had a clearance, and I got the later class, uh, no, the last night later class, Vo- uh, not Voyager, later class Megatron, uh, for twenty five bucks, which I'm happy. I I, I wanted oh, to get it for fifty. I passed, yeah, I passed it up so many times. I was like, I don't want to. I don't really want to spend fifty. I bought the Voyager, and I like the Voyager, but. Um, and then I went and saw that, and I saw the yellow sticker on there. I was like, oh, hell yeah. So I thought it was only going to be like 40 bucks, but then I looked at it, and it was like $24. I was like, fuck yeah. So I got picked that up, and um, I think that's it. So I, I saw that hound that mine. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the Voyager hound? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it have been on sale, too. I would have got it, but they didn't have a sticker on that one. So I'm glad to get ready for this. Yeah, exactly, team man. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get, Zero? Did you get anything? Oh man, I got a, I got a bunch of stuff actually. I got um, see, I got Toro and Compromoso. Um, T Man, hit that little microphone. It'll mute yeah, you. There he goes. Uh, <laughs> I think he said. I think he thought he was muted, but wasn't. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I got the X Transbots, Toro and Compromoso, the hubcap and and uh, Cliff Jumper, and I love them. Mm. Um, so sexy. They are. Uh, my my cliff jumper has uh, one issue, though. It's not ma- major. I already contacted GCI about it, but it's uh my sled is missing one of the skis. 
Oh yeah, so that sucks. Yeah. But you know, this is. I mean, yeah. I mean, those are the options. I mean, but yeah, it still sucks. I mean, yeah. I, you know, you really want a complete, you know, thing, but. Yeah, well, I mean, I actually wanted to leave the sled out in the display with him. Like, I have iron hides out, and I have ratchets okay. out too. Mm-hmm. Um, I got um, I got the um, Studio Series Megatron off of Amazon, which I'm really happy with. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Nice. Do you get it in, or did you order it? Um, I I, I ordered it. Um, I paid like retail price for it. Um, so, yeah. Did you have it in? No, 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 not from Japan. Just regular old Amazon. Oh, do you have it in hand? You, you oh, yeah, 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 I've got it in hand. Yeah. How is it? He's really good, and I didn't have to okay. do any fixes on him um, other than, like, I put a little floor polish on those flaps that were falling off, and they don't fall off anymore. So I did have That's to do a couple sweet. fixes on him. But, I, like, when I say I didn't have to do fixes on him, like, other, other than those little flaps that everybody has issues with, um, mine was mine was good. He's he's solid. Yeah, the transformation's a little eh, but I mean he's a Cybertronian tank, so what do you really expect? I, I just <laughs> like how he he like is the first other than the the last night one. He's the first Megatron to really capture the look that he that he's you know supposed to have, and he's got all the possibility, and he's got like the claw. The claw has like three points of articulation itself, and the yeah you know, the little the little derpy hand has has you know. A, a lot of stuff you can do to make it expensive. Grab the good hand. Take my Grab strong the good hand. hand. Yeah, the strong hand. That's strong. good. Hand. Take the strong hand. Come on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we had a we had a meet up last week, and I actually got a few things. We had a raffle. Um, I got a um, SH. Fixed. I yeah. So we. Fixed. <laughs> Jason Seaman hated his surprise. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. I forgot well, to mention that. It was yeah. so salted. <laughs> well, the thing was, it was like we were, we were encouraging people to get motivated for the raffle. So I put like I put like twenty five bucks into it, and my name came up like four fucking times. It did four times almost in a row, three times in a row, and then one <laughs> after the fact. To the point so where did I was, you win everything. I, I won two things. I won two things. I won um, uh, SH Figuarts Captain Phasma, and yeah. I also won the um, um, Nendoroid Mega Man X. Um, powered I, up. Yeah, the powered up one, which T-Man will be reviewing, which he's already like, I hate it. Uh, <laughs> At some point. Uh, I got... Oh, uh, his, his audio just worked in. Yeah, it sounds a little bit better now. I got uh, a couple more fig warts. I got Thanos in the mail today. I got um, the Rock, as in the you know the electrifying man, the Rock. Um, <laughs> I got uh, the Big Chap, which is the alien from the first Alien, which is also broken, like the jaw. <laughs> I took it out of the box, and the bottom jaw just fell the fuck off. That's awesome. So um, it's a feature. Yeah. So uh, my buddy Andrew is currently seeing if Bluefin can source me another one. If not, I'll just buy one off Amazon and return it. You didn't hear that here, though. And uh, did I mention Thanos? You did. I mentioned yeah. Thanos. Um, oh, and uh, the NECA Crash Bandicoot. My buddy Jason picked that up for me and gave it to me at the meetup, which I was very happy about. So that's yeah. that's so, all. So I got. really liked that. Oh, oh, one more thing. Yes, I got I the uh, the Sphero R2-D2. Um, Best Buy was having a sale that uh, Matt brought to my attention, and I finally got the R2, and I love him. He is Shit, cool. I almost bid on that one, but I didn't because I'm cheap. Um, on, so I, you don't do the 1-6 scale stuff, but, I mean, I, I, do, I do, like, Star Wars props. Like, I got a couple lightsabers and helmets and everything, and uh, I've got the BB-8. Like if anybody has a one six scale collection, like this will go with your hot toys. Um, anybody that knows Energon Attic, he got one of these to go with his Star Wars hot toys. Um, and What's uh, that? the uh, the Sphero R two D two, the app controlled R two D two. I almost bought that for my kid for her birthday. That Dude, looks really cool. It is really cool. I mean, it originally retailed for two hundred, and I got it here for fifty bucks. And I yeah, I think awesome. it's about. Yeah, it's about 120 here, which is, I think, about 80 of your dollars. Yeah, and that, and even at that, yeah. that's still a good deal. Like when they were going for 100, yeah. I almost bit, and I was like, mm, eh. yeah, I like Star Wars, but not, but not, you know, not a priority right now. And then 50 bucks, I couldn't say no. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. And I got some, uh, I got some cool stuff coming in tomorrow that I'll, I'll talk about next week. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get that uh, 
That I gotta get start that suppressive therapy for that. Mm. What do you think? Know? <laughs> full bloom. Full bloom. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well let's end the halls on that note. Yeah. On that scrote. Mm. On that scrote. Oh, on that scrote. scrote. From your scrote, scrote to your throat. What are we talking about, fellas? So yeah, um you wanna start off uh with uh talking about our, our, our most perfect figure in our collection? Yeah, so I had, a, I had a question that came up earlier in the week, so I thought I'd pose it for a question for this week, and that's, in your collection, it doesn't have to be Transformers, it could be whatever. What figure do you think is the most perfect that you own, and, and it could be based on whatever kind of qualifications or quantifications you, you see fit? Um, oh. No figure is perfect, so... You know what? What ranks up there? What one is your go-to? Ooh. I mean, I can start off. I've been thinking about it. Yeah. I've got two figures. Yeah, that, I've got two figures that, that stick out to me in the Transformers world. I always go back to Striker Man as being one of the most perfect figures that I own because um, I'm a posability fanatic. I, I love posable figures. So when you when you get to say, for anybody that owns Striker Man, and if you didn't buy it when it came out, and you're even kind of partially interested in that sort of thing. I highly suggest you jump on a reissue. Ooh. As someone is God being murdered. We just we just listened to, witnessed the apocalypse. Yeah, what the fuck was that? That was like a time rift. Anywho, um, yeah, go on. I mean, it, the thing can be a bit of a pain to transform, but that's not <laughs> so much a bad thing. It you know, once you go through the steps, it's fine. But but anybody that doesn't have that figure, like look up a review on it. It's it was out of left field when it came out because it was Make Toys' own take on Optimus Prime, and man, it's it's one of my favorite figures. Um, the other non-transformer figure that I had in mind for this was the Figma Samus that just came out. You're talking Metroid um, Prime, right? The Metroid Prime Samus that came out. Uh, that thing is a work of art. My only complaint about it really is that it feels lightweight and feels a little cheap when you're holding it, but it definitely isn't in quality. Um, articulations there, the sculpt is on point. I, you can get it in all kinds of awesome poses. Uh, it, it's definitely a figure worth having in your collection. I, I, like I, I, I'll say many a times on this podcast is I am cheap as hell. And I shelled out full price for it because I was so impressed. You know what? So there's your seal of approval. You know what I really want? Wow. What? <laughs> I want a Samus that transforms into a ball. Ooh. Nice. They could do it. Someone. Someone, someone could, somewhere. Someone could do it. After playing with these damn Digimon all, all fucking like month, I'm like, can someone make a Samus that turns into a ball? Please. I'm on it. Hold on. Good luck with that. <laughs> well, when I was a kid, they I don't know if you guys ever had, they had the Ninja Turtles that turned into baby turtles. Yes. And those were some of my yes. favorite toys. Oh, I remember that. I didn't have that. I don't know oh, what that is. Oh, man. Uh, if, you, if you ever like want to get yourself a retro, a retro figure, look up the Ninja Turtle mutations. Yeah, the shells popped open, and they all the arms folded back into the shells, and the head rotated to a baby turtle head, and <laughs> turtle, yeah. head. turtle limbs folded out. It was it was, it was was actually a really neat gimmick for the day. Yeah, that then, sounds cool. They had um, a, a foot soldier. I really liked the foot soldier. Um, he they were literally shell farmers. But a bump. That's my answer. Since I'm looking hopefully at hopefully I've now. digressed long enough for someone else to chime in. Since I'm looking at mine now, I'll, I'll chime in. Soul Chigokin Voltron. Like, uh, I, I wish I had that. Like, uh, I wish I had that. I'm not the biggest Voltron fan in the world. I love Voltron. I grew up with Voltron. I'm not the biggest Voltron fan <laughs> in the world. In the world so give it to me, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. If you I mean, want, I'm closer. If you're willing, if you're willing to pay market value for it, I mean. But um, I'll pay. I'll pay market. Let's I, go. Market value is asinine. So, oh, is it? Yeah, it's like six seventy five. No, 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 no. I thought you meant retail. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm good. But um, word has it, Bondi's got the uh, Voltron license back, and they'd be dumb not to do a reissue on it. So is that is that that? I mean, because that you just got me excited. Is that true? That well, they're, they're they're doing the uh the gunpla kit. I mean, yeah, I saw that, but I'm trying to 
man, remember, cheap as hell. Okay. And I will, I will smash that pre-order button if that thing comes They'll out. They'll do it. Me. They'll do it. It'll just take ages. They, yeah. they reissue a lot. You know it's people, Adrian. Well. Talk to them. Talk <laughs> no, no, to no them. I, I don't know anyone. I know, I know people. Take ages. I know people at Bluefin now, and and you know, I I still haven't gotten an official word other than. They've got the license back in a capacity, is all I'm hearing. Well, we'll mention my name and <laughs> see if you can find out anything. <laughs> but uh, Transformers-wise, if I was going to say a perfect figure, like, I, you know, butt flap or not, Ultra Magnus. I don't <sighs> think I've ever had that much joy flipping a figure back and forth, you mm. know. And his Transformific to me is, like, one of the one of the coolest things. I mean, you know. He goes from a truck to giving you know, his Optimus Prime scab, and I, you know, I always liked Ultra Magnus when I was a kid. Um, and uh, you know, he's just one of the figures that looks great on a shelf. He uh, strikes a pose really well. The the transformation is fun, and the alt mode looks good. So, Matt, tell us about Starscream. <laughs> um, Which one? Yeah, strike a pose. Man, if I had to pick a perfect, it'd be my painter. Um, <laughs> Is that no, still mint in uh, package? How many points nope. of articulation does it have? <laughs> two. Well, it came with two, but there's some additional <laughs> ones now. And the That's interchangeable true. heads. I stress it out. Did a you get bit. the uh, the third um, the third party add on pump? Exactly. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Don't tell anybody. Come on, man. That's a secret. Um, let's see. A perfect figure. I mean, I love Constructor. If you just look at him, he's perfect. You know, he's got some issues. But as far as looking and just just him towering over everything, it is so perfect. <coughs> I think Soundwave. I think MP Soundwave, which I've done. I just did, uh, did a review or overview of him. Um, he's close to perfect. Um, he, he looks the part really well, and he's fun to mess around with. And I love Star Trek. I think, you know, he does have some issues, but he looks like he just jumped out of the screen. I mean, yeah, he looks the part, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, I love uh, that thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's all I collect, so, you know, the whole Transformers I get. I mean, there's... Mm, perfect. I think that'd be my top three right there as far as perfect. I don't know. I mean, like I said, there's not a perfect, but... No, there's not. Pretty damn close, I think. Just in you know my opinion, and a lot of people hate that star cream. You know that's fine. I mean, I'm, and I'm happy. We all win. But I, I yeah. think, like I said, if he's just standing there on the on you know on your detolf or on your shelf, he looks fucking perfect. <laughs> he looks like star cream. That's it. Uh, yeah. So, that's mine. Sounds nice. good. Yeah. What about for me, what take things perfect? Yeah. Yeah. For me, I have a star cream for right. my list. Good job. Good job. <laughs> but it's um. Is Galaxy Meteor. He, in both modes, I have the least amount of comp, um, least amount of problems with him. It's like he's just like um, Deluxe just said. That star screen looked like he jumped out of the cartoon as well, and the articulation is awesome. Yeah, he was also talking about the same figure. Oh, I thought he meant um the, the one from G One. Yeah, he, no, I think no. he was talking about the G1 one, wasn't he? Oh, you're talking about Galaxy Media. Yeah, he's yeah, talking about Gal- the oh, right. Er, right, right, uh, right. Cybertron. Yeah, I've got that too. That's a nice figure. Yeah, I love that one. I mean, that Which cockpit one? that slides down and gives a weight joint, waist joint, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. never expected them to have waist articulation or an ab crunch. Which one are we talking and, about? Um, yeah, uh, Galaxy, Galaxy Meteor. The Cybertron make, oh, make sure he's oh, dude. Thing. Yeah, good call, man. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, he's fucking awesome too. Yeah, good job, good job, team man. That's a good. <laughs> and as far as um not robot figures, the thing I keep thinking about is my SH figure arts Chun Li. I love her. She she poses in whatever pose I want to put her in, and it's yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> it's like I barely have any complaints with that figure. Nice. It's like hard to come by a figure like that. Yes, I agree. I, I own that one too. And as do I. Oh, uh, honorable mention, my MP36 Megatron. Like I would have put him on the top of the list if he didn't look panelly in gun mode. That's not, not Stone Streaker. Yeah, but that robot is money. He's yeah, he's kind of on my list. 
What about that Sunstreaker? Is he honorable mention too? Oh yeah, Sunstreaker to you. Yeah, that dude's fun to sell to pose and fucking mess around with transform back and forth. Yeah, but I'll I'll keep having a bunch of honorable mentions if I keep going. <sighs> yeah, like, like I'm I'm looking around there like, oh man, beat. I could have said Tarn. Yeah, and um seen. the what is it called the the Machine Robo's Psycho, the big one, the DX. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Psycho. Yeah, I'm talking about. I, I'm gonna stop. Let's get to Adrian. <laughs> so for me, uh. Three A's dead cosmonaut gangster. Um, it's basically a for those who don't know it and can't be fucked googling. It's basically a super <laughs> realistic um, astronaut, but in the cosmonaut colors with lots of wear on it. Has a light up feature at the collar of the helmet, and then when you flip the visor and the visor is mirrored, and when you turn it on, you get a slight outline of a face because it's mirrored. You flip the visor and it's um, uh, like a skull, but with like hair and rotting flesh on it. It's really nice. I'm and looking at pictures of that. Huh? That thing looks oh, amazing. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's really good. And he's got two gats and a whole lot of attachments. Um, I've got him on a display stand, like moonwalk away from a giant zombie who's also in a spacesuit, which <laughs> that would also be, that's another 3 I figure called Strigoi, S-T-R-I-G-O-I. And I would rate that, but he doesn't pose for shit or even stand for shit. But he looks good behind the gangster, so, yeah, that's what he's there for. Um, in Transformers, I would say Fans Toys Galvatron is one of my perfect, nice. or good close pick. to perfect. It's yeah. good pick. And then I, I would say, play, oh, it's phenomenal. It's like in hands. It's not just the weight that tricks you. The joints are perfect. The only issue I have with it is the gap when you give it more than 45 degrees on the knee. But Galvatron is a character. He's not fucking doing any aerobics. He's standing there heroically <laughs> telling everyone to fuck off. That's true. I just so, wish he yeah, had uh, the next meetup. I'll bring him. Bring him. <laughs> he's really good. I just wish he had uh, the hands. I, I'm sorry. This is the way you yeah. point out, you know, just because you know, it doesn't have good posability, you know, I'm, I'm not saying he doesn't, but. Just the way they look, just like like I said, constructor. Just his presence. Yeah, yeah. That 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 really takes uh, I know a lot to, for me. You know, I think that makes it look really good. Like Galvatron, like you said, the knee part. You know, it looks kind of funky. But him just standing there, it's just it's menacing. I mean, it's really it's really. Nice. He really is. He's. Yeah. Well, I, I look at it from a few when I've when I've been giving get, taking account all the all the different aspects that would make a figure perfect. I've been looking at. Uh, like quality of build, likeness to the character, proportions, posability, and quality of the parts that make up the build, the ratchets and armatures and stuff. And definitely, other than posability, which I don't think he fails at, he's got a, a knee gap. He can do anything. He's just got a knee right. gap. Yeah. But he's he he ticks every fucking box. Like if I had to sell all of my transformers, I wouldn't sell him. No way. Nice. Uh, and then Infinite Transformations KO of the MP36. Oh. Sorry if I'm talking nasally. I've got a cold. Then it's that. Get it in hands. I own the MP36. I bought it first, yeah. and it's sitting in a box. This thing. Yeah, is... I can vouch for him. I play with it. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like. Brand. Yeah, it feels like Fans Toys made it. It of it actually feels like Fans Toys made. It. They probably did, and they just ripped them off. Maybe. <laughs> and honor, if we're doing honorable mentions, then I've, I've probably just got the one. Um, I mean, I love all my Transformers, but it would be uh, G Creations Fuma. They're six shot. That thing is okay. unbelievable. The plastic is thicker than anything else in my collection. The weight... The posability is off the charts. The likeness is perfect. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not in for the fans toys one because, yeah, this is just too good. Yeah. And that's it. That's me. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, it's like when you were mentioning oh, uh, where did, uh, Sovereign there real quick. It was like... Our host is uh, muted. All right. Well, I guess we'll move on. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, what's next? Let's see. We got some exclusives coming up from yeah, uh, TwitchCon. 
in Toronto, which yeah. is coming up actually next weekend. Uh, really close. Cool. God, I mean, Chicago's coming up in a couple months. That Fuck it is. Yeah. Um, there he is. Hey, beautiful. Hey. You can talk. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was muted. I was. I was like. I was making like points. Like, yeah. I. I... Yeah, I, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't yeah, we didn't hear you. I know. You can edit those in later, and we can just react. I'll, like I'll you dub. Said I'll dub over it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just finish. Um, so they got, you know, the well, San Diego Comic Con is coming up. Cool. TFCon in Toronto is coming up. So we got the MMC tapes, which are the, the blue recolors of um, Ravage and Laserbeak, which they were the Cobalt uh, version. Um, they were, uh, um, uh, were they? I forgot. Catcall what and Uproar two pack. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I would love to have a blue. Uh, Ravage, I don't care much for the laser bank. I, I don't have the birds, but I've heard they're not that good. But I would yeah, love to have them. So if anybody wants to separate those by chance, which probably won't. Um, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, I got my fingers crossed, but I don't, I don't think anybody would do that. I wouldn't mind getting that set. But it was $120 for the set. So. Good idea. Good idea. Oh, is it Canadian? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was it's, about, it's about 80 Americans always. Well, that's not bad then. Okay. Is is the laser beak blue or is his black plastic blue? No, nah, he's bl- he's he's oh, it's black plastic. He's I don't think they're painted. They're molded. Oh, actually, no. Tell a lie. They're painted. I know they're painted. Yeah. Yeah. Does he still have red? No, he'll be blue. He should be blue. Oh. In- the, the image so? does still have red on the wings. Does it? Oh, the, okay. This image that I'm looking at on the TFCon website it has it. Yeah, huh. it's just the the black is substituted blue. That's it. That's yeah, weird. I like the way it looks. It looks like it's a green underside on the tape on the actual tape decals when it's in and it, when it's in tape mode, and then when it transforms, the red comes out on the wings. Uh-huh. It's actually yeah. pretty cool looking. Well, that's cool. Uh, but let's talk about let's let's switch gears and talk about the one that was more recently uh, uh, released, the uh, uh, TFCon. Toronto exclusive G2 Maestro or Maestro from Make uh, Toys. Yes, yeah, there's exactly. photos in that here. I'm getting one. All I can I say is come to daddy. I that, love my G2. That, that package, dude, that thing is awesome. Like That, that shit uh, is uh, amazing. Yeah. That gives me the I'm nostalgia. Not open yeah. When I get that thing, that's going to hang on the kitchen. Yeah. I'm, I might be in the same same boat. I'm hoping that yeah. it's like that sort of like uh, plastic where you know you can you can, the clamshells that you can pop open and close back up like a lot of the inner clamshells are. So I'm looking uh, at it and it looks it like that is the case. Yes, yeah. it's got tape. It's got tape yes. at the top. If you have a look at the image, yeah. and that would be awfully dick-like of them to not. To, they know collectors are grabbing this, so you know I, I I can't imagine that they would make it so you'd have to cut the thing or break a seal. You know, <laughs> break a seal. You know, read the. Go on. I was going to say, that's a discussion for another day, but like one of the things I love about the hobby is part of it is you kind of have to open things to make sure it's not broken. Right. You know? Yeah. Like, I, I don't think there's, I've... there's too many other, other uh, collectors out there that like where, you know, am I, you know, there's so many, there's such a high parts count with Transformers, you have to open them up to make sure that nothing's broken. And you uh, especially. Me especially, yes. <laughs> If I bought that, I, I don't think I will open it. And if I wound up selling it in the future, yeah, it'll be, be up to the it'll be up to the next guy to open it. <laughs> well, you have the original release too, right? Yeah, that's the one you like the best. Yeah, I, I've yeah. got that as well. Yeah, I got the original too. So I would I would probably might keep this. I don't know. I, I would I usually open my stuff. I I yeah, open ninety percent stuff. So, but look at the package. It's got the explanation marks after. No, yeah, the packaging's awesome. The G2 is really cool. It's, yeah, it a good, says, it's a good nod to the G2. Yeah, it says <laughs> awesome sports car styling. I love Die that. Die-cast metal yeah. pieces. <laughs> like, it's amazing. Soft plastic wheels with explanation marks. Yeah. So it's amazing. Do you, think we'll, do you think we'll have this in Chicago, or are they going to do another one? I think we will. Usually yeah. we see the bleed over, don't we? Even if it's not meant for Chicago, I think you'll, we'll see. You'll, you'll see a seller have it, but I, I doubt that it'll be. I think they will do a new one. Yeah, no, well, so, so I've got the- some insight on this one a little okay. bit. So the it's a it's a chosen prime ex- that's being yeah, released at TFCon. Yeah. Right. yeah, so it's not a TFCon exclusive. The chosen prime. Uh, so when they they just made another batch of the regular one. And they need five thousand pieces to make a batch, and so they allocated 
a percentage of that. People are saying it's only 200 pieces, but I call bullshit. Um, mm. They allocated a percentage of that to repaint. So they'll sell at TFCon Toronto first. After that, it goes for sale on the Chosen Prime. After that, if there's any left, it'll go to the other, uh, to Chicago. Yeah, they've they done that before. They did it with the, uh, the Toronto with the Mirage. Uh, a lot of people are upset because only like a couple, I think some of my stuff got held up at, um, in customs. And yeah. they only got a certain amount. Uh, so a lot of people were mad. But then they did the other half at Chicago and everything. So it kind of, you know, evened it out, I guess, and everything. But, yeah, they've done this before. It's, you know, that's fine. You know, whatever. And then two points yeah. interest on this thing is it, it, it no less than four spots on this thing. And I pointed this out in the chat is that it says jazz on yeah. it, but which I think is cool. a little cheeky. But then Zero pointed out yeah. what you said. Doesn't say Autobot jazz. Doesn't say Autobot jazz. It's just yeah. jazz. They so, don't know jazz is a music. Sure, and, or, but I think uh, it's yeah. very a in Utah your sports face, team. and I like it. Yeah, and I then like it, it too. And then it was released. Uh, I, I think it was yesterday, maybe, where the the backside of the packaging has has a uh, uh, that's cross further cells. Down. Yeah, yeah, if has cross cells. Scroll down. Okay, in our what in our document? You mean? Yeah, you'll yeah. see all the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, it's got Micro X, which is the uh, yeah. the um, cameras. It's got Fragment, which is a uh, orange. I think that was a um, e hobby uh, hound. Um, yeah, I forgot his name. I have it, but I forgot his name. You got well, the you got Steel Eagle, which is the, yeah, Cyber Steel Eagle, which I don't. I guess that's maybe the Thundercracker, maybe the, the Steel Eagle. Yeah, is, is a metal. I don't know who that is. Oh, metal oh, hawk. Metal yeah. hawk. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Okay. And you got corrosion, which is that storm, and then you got soul storm, which is a uh, sunstorm. Sunstorm. Well, I mean, that, orange kinda, that orange was kind of weird. I'm in on it. Yeah, I don't it's like that G2 orange. Package. Either. I don't no, care. no, no, but it's I'm a G2 a, package, so they're trying, to, they're trying to oversaturate the colors. Yeah. And you can tell that on Steel Eagle. I think he's right. You can definitely tell yeah. that pink is like super bleeding, bleeding through, man. It's, I'm just, yeah. I'm they're trying to make it look like the late 80s. I'm shocked there's no G2 oh, Starscream cool. or uh, or Ramjet. Like those, oh, yeah, Ramjet. Yeah, those are the two that I'd want the most. I, and I, I, if anybody that knows me, I love my G2 repaints. Like I have the Fans Toys uh, G2 grinder, and I love that thing. Yeah, I, I was thinking of getting the whole set of G2 Toys Dino. They're cool. Someone has a car horn. Somebody horn. Oh, that was out back. <laughs> but those those are definitely looking good. Fans fans project is like risen from the, the grave again to show yeah. off some some G two recolors of their their uh, their stunticons. Yeah. And not only that, but they're recoloring their steel core in two yeah. different recolors. Where one is a Grimlock, which is their Severo, and the other one is like a straight up construction robot, which I think that one actually looks pretty cool. I've, uh, uh, I've always wanted a steel core. I've always wanted one too. I've got some insider information uh, about yeah, this. I, well, no, I can't. I can't say. I can't say. But all I can well, say, I'll, all I can say, all, all I can say is that in 2018 we're going to see a lot of stuff coming back from from Fans Project. Their their presence is going to be. It's going to be. Well, huge. is it new stuff or just recolors? New, new stuff. They're going ape shit on Twitter. They're, they've also put out a purple shattered glass power baser. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be, that's exclusive, I think, to TFCon, maybe. Yeah. Well, that's so, the Okay, well, I want to ask a question. Do you ever really think that these, you know, the, the Sunstorm and all that stuff, do you think they're really going to come out, or are they just maybe just advertising for it? I hope they come out. I want that Sunstorm. Well, it's, it's, it's easy for them to probably come out it's eventually. Pain. Yeah. It's just pain. Yeah. It's, um, they're probably going to, they're probably going to get through the cone heads first. But, I mean, I, I think everybody wanted, like, um, you know, a Sunstorm. Because, like, Takara Sunstorm was an obnoxious price, and he came with the Coronation set. I own him. And uh, Acid Storm, you know, he's... I know. I'm trying, I'm trying to be And a, Hasbro Sunstorm was ugly. He was Ronald McGoddamn Donald. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I still own both Sunstorms. Because I, 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 I like the way the Hasbro one looks in jet mode. But, um... But at any rate, you know, like I think people like w love the the make toys seekers or make toys seekers enough that they want the whole set, you know. Yeah, yes, they do. Um, I you know, like the same thing with uh, the the uh, uh, toy colored reflector. There's so many people that are for whatever reason they like the G1 decos or the, the toy decos on the masterpieces, and um, 
Is just me or well, do, they, gives... do they look like they have new heads? I can't tell from that image. I posted in our Facebook chat a better image. But yeah, that was a while back. I was looking at that and I just I can't tell whether they, they have different heads or not. I mean it wouldn't surprise me if they did, but um From what I'm saying they look their their faces look the same. I don't know. But I think the whole G two thing, like I, I didn't even watch G two as a kid, but the whole thing I like about it is that um, you can almost start your collection again. If you've got everything, you can do like a G2 cabinet or shelf. Yeah, that's, and, that's uh, what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah, I want to start again. Uh, you didn't have to watch GT. You had to collect the GT toys because the cartoon was the exact same thing. Yeah, it just had that intro. And the, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. And you can yeah, look it up on YouTube. You make anything new for it. Go on YouTube and look up the G two intro and uh, and commercial and break animations it. and oh, and just sit back and enjoy. I think by the time G two hit, I was just immersed in Thundercats and heat and stuff. Man, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I just I, I'll never forget walking into Toys R Us. I, I got to pour a forty on the curb for that place anyway, uh, and seeing the. Uh, seeing like a Grimlock on the shelf and Grimlock was a figure I wanted when I was a kid and then finally boom it's available and it's in this big plastic clamshell box and then I look around and I see you know Devastator of course he's yellow and just all you know the, the second chance to own all these figures and just how cool that yeah. was back in the day and like just it, it's funny just seeing that sort of packaging just brings back so many feels <laughs> and it's like, kind of like what Masterpiece is like Masterpiece is another opportunity to own better representations of the characters, you know? Yeah, yeah. You were younger than me. For, for me, I was an old man teenager, <laughs> and I was like, back in my back in my day, Devastator was green. Yeah, no, you, you, were walking, <laughs> you were walking through the aisles going like, who wants old toys? <laughs> You're just shaking your fist at them. Yeah, no. When G2 came out, I was getting pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I can only assume you mean a cat. You were cat shopping. <laughs> it was all right. <laughs> that's sad. So yeah, that's probably all the new. Well, we got the San Diego, the new um, throne primal. He won. Uh, he won the uh, king. Uh, uh, the prom king. I, I like uh, it. So. How about that scepter, man? That scepter's crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's going for like two hundred bucks overseas. I think he's going to be around like one twenty or something, or maybe not no, about eighty or something uh, U.S. I'm hoping that he just shows up on Hasbro Toy Shop for like 50, 60 bucks. Um, I got that. Eh, well, I mean, you know, I got that black yeah. skateboard prime last year. I think it'll be more like 70, 80. Yeah, I think it could be 80 bucks. He should be on the on Hasbro Toy Shop after when they, I think in August or something when they said. Um, he comes with four prime messes, right? <clears throat> yeah. Mm hmm. They go in the center. Yeah, that's, that's twenty dollars by itself, right there. Yeah. Well, they except they don't come with the um, the the exo suits or pretender armor or whatever. You know, like. you know, Hasbro doesn't care. <laughs> RC <laughs> RC didn't come with the little set, but that that was five more dollars right there. I think it's just a weird choice of color. I know because they really can't get a, a bunch of repaints out of this because I think the only one they could do is the red one, which was the KB exclusive. Which I, I wonder why they didn't do that for this one, um, but I guess it wouldn't have been that great seller other than his original colors. But it's just a weird that he's going back from from orange back to the you know the the gray and black and everything. But no, weird, weird choice. But a lot of people are liking it, you know, and everything. I just I'm glad he won Prom King. I did, you know, I think I voted for. Him. <laughs> I, I kind of I just I really like that 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 deco for the for the mold. Like now now like they're doing like digibashes for the perfect effect one. I just threw that in the chat. Yeah, um, yeah, that looks pretty. That's pretty but, yeah, I like it. Yeah, because not only that, but again, they're having fun with the packaging, and you see, it, he's he's sat in his throne with his yeah. crown and, and scepter in hand in the packaging. I mean, that right yeah. there sells it. That thing, it looks awesome. You don't have to touch it. Well, that's another one y'all said about jazz leaving the package. I think I would leave this in the package. Yeah. I don't have any. Reason yeah, because that that throne's cardboard. Still yeah. looks good though. Yeah, it does. It's only probably. Burn. It does look really good. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I, eh. If I can get it, I'll we'll get see. it. Like, you know, I had I had a lot of fun with that that uh, 
that primitive uh, prime from last year, the one that with the, with the skateboard set and the box it came in was really cool. I'll have to, I'll have to bring that to a, a meetup sometime for you guys to check out. Um, for for those that can attend, not to rub it in, um, but like it's got like a tape, you know, like the skateboard tape texture all over the box, and um, you know the the whole skate bar turns into like a rail gun for the little uh, um, <laughs> the little uh, Titan Master that he comes with. I, I like that one. So hopefully they make enough for everybody to get these who want some. They won't. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And also, quick side note for anybody listening uh, that wonders what the hell we're talking about, the meetups he keeps referring to, We uh, a lot of the uh, collectors in the community live in the Maryland, Delaware, Virginia area, and we tend to have some collector meetups, usually somewhere in the state of Maryland, and we do it two, three, four times a year. That's what he's talking about. You might see pictures online. Sorry, like sidebar. Like back to <laughs> That's what I do. Mm-hmm. Like I a mm. <laughs> well... You know, they well, have, they have, uh, they have, uh, yeah, it's 2018. Go on. Don't hate. I mean, we can Skype you in on the next one. Yeah. If you wanted to do that. I mean, you can oh, be yeah. a telepresence. That would do that for me. You could even yeah. be sitting on the toilet while we do it. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I'd do I'm that. Always enough. You, Adrian, <laughs> too. The same, same, same thing applies to him. Yeah. We, we could bring the Good toys way. to the screen. <laughs> Good. So, so when we're talking about these, these fans projects, are these are they Toronto exclusive too? Are they doing the G two Sonic Guns? Yeah, G two Sonic Guns. Okay, yeah, they, they are. I, mean, I used to want them. Now I'm over it. Yeah, they're like what a couple. They're like three years old. I don't. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fine. Whatever. I mean, if that's what you want, that's cool. You win. It's just I think it's just a little too late. But you know, I the yeah. people with G two and. No. I think they're trying to use existing stock to get their their names out there. And, uh, that's not a bad idea. No, it's not a bad idea at all. It's just it's a weird, weird choice. But you know, whatever. If you're happy. Can we look at this? Can we look at this circus on page eight, uh, page five of our Google document? Are we looking at this this prime situation? Oh, the Mama Mia. Yes. Oh. Yes. <clears throat> There's a fucking another bring... one. Yes. Mm. Somebody I don't really know what to say about it. Just, just what we needed. Chris oh, it. Says, says he's sucking in his gut, trying to hold it in like at a. <laughs> at a under... <laughs> That's exactly what he looks like. Yeah, That's exactly. <laughs> <what he> looks <laughs> like. That looking at me. Like he's ready to bust but, out a big fart. Who the fuck is this company? company? That thigh gap is is for real, man, and the <laughs> and his legs are kind of scrawny. You see his neck. <laughs> yeah, but look at him in profile. His legs are massive in profile. Yeah, what's what's going on there? Who is this company? Has anybody heard of him? No, this is transform their opening, element. This is their 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 initial offering. From what I hear, I, I, I call bad cube. I reckon mm. I reckon this is bad cube again. Or someone similar. No. Why do these companies just keep coming out of nowhere? And vi- not bad cute in that. I mean, Magic Square. Oh, no. They Magic Square's already got their one out. They've already got one coming out. Yeah, I know. It's, it's next to it. Yeah. You don't think they're all, they're all Keith? Maybe. I, I don't think this one is, because it looks different from the Magic Square one. Uh, this one might be a new, a new, it, a new it company. It looks, it looks like, uh, it looks like somebody took elements from MPO one, and yeah. they they decided, okay, well, let's take MPO one and hide the wheels, and because mm-hmm. uh, like that head sculpt really reminds me of MPO one, and those smokestacks, yeah, the chest looks like it too. It, so l- it looks like the three point oh one too. Uh, yeah, well, he's got like certain elements where he cleans up, like like the wheels going away. I, I I will say I do like how the 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 how clean the back is, but I mean, ain't nobody gonna look like at the prime from the back, unless you're like doing a shot of him like knocking Megatron down a you know. Uh, to be honest, to be honest, that Takara the Takara one looks that chest looks so much better than this one. It does. Well, this one that's the one. So- I agree. Who's, okay, who out of all of us is not in on Takara? Exactly. The 3.0? Yeah. I'm in 3.0. Yeah. I, I, I want it unless oh, yeah. it's $400. Yeah, price price notwithstanding, I'm in. 
Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Be four hundred bucks, but if it is, nah, I'm out. Hey, I hey, got mine. Team, let me give you some Please advice. Me. You got two kidneys. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I'm fat. I need both of them. <laughs> I reckon it, it'll, be, it'll be on Amazon Japan for like twenty bucks within a month of it coming out. Honest, this, 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 one, this one is not impressing me at all. I, I don't, I don't like the chest. It looks too. I mean, it is, you know, it is early in the stages. You know, they could change it up. Yeah. But if I had to go off by what that is right now, no, I'm good I, with it. I wish, I wish they'd take, like, a Figuarts approach with uh, with Transformers and, and, like, Masterpiece, right? Because you can buy, like, Figuarts. You can buy, like, where it's just the figure. And you can buy it where it's, like, the deluxe version and it's got the, all the accessories and everything. <sighs> yeah. And, they uh, used to do that. With the first prime, they did that. Well, no, I mean he was. The, well, no, it, it was. It was more or less. It was like that was the MPO one was just the 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 figure, and then they're like, oh, people really want the trailer, you know. And kind yeah. of since then, they've been like doing every accessory under the sun, and then they'll do like weird pre order accessories. Like I guarantee the pre order bonus for Megatron's gonna be his ducky, kind of like how like with Primal you had to get pre order to get the mace, and with Supreme Commander Primal you got the the bananas. You know, <laughs> yeah, those bananas. The ducky, the ducky bananas the first one, they were really nice the, bananas. The ducky was with the transmetal. Well, no, I don't he know had if a, come with this one. He had a ducky. Um, he had a ducky. Uh, throughout the whole series, I thought I got to rewatch it, but I, I, I don't think he did. He had the two breasts, which he has that one with him. You yeah, know, uh, breasts and his teeth. I don't think he had the uh, the duck until he was a transmetal two. The uh, transmetal two one. Season one is a blur to me. I never went back to season one after a while. Yeah. But you know, but it'd be cool if they did. I mean, you know, if they threw it in, that'd be awesome. But I, I don't think he went with him. Didn't yeah. we establish that you don't know shit about Base Wars? Exactly. But I'm, I'm telling you right now, I do know that shit. Adrian. Oh. <laughs> I just want to take my shirt off and fight you. <laughs> just get off the toilet, man. Just get off the toilet. No. But anyway, it'd be cool if they did throw it in. I mean, that'd be really cool. Yeah. You know, that'd be awesome. I'm curious what, what kind of accessories this new Prime's going to come with. Like, is he going to come with Spike? Is he gonna come? With, I, yeah, he's got to come with a matrix. I, you know, honestly, I hope he comes with spark plug. That'd be cool. That would be cool. That'd be like a mini me, this little fat little thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want to cosplay at TFCon. You could be the one guy dressed as nah. spark plug. Oh, or C spray. Or C spray. Yeah. Or C spray. Yeah. I'd um, love perfect. to see Deluxe C spray. Amazing. Oh. Take a shower, man. Like stink, man. By Sunday, man. There's. Mm. Stanky. They had those. They had those girls last year that were that were dressed up as the Seekers, and they had like their their bellies all out, and they shouldn't have yeah. their, they shouldn't have their bellies out. And that one girl, that one girl by Sunday, she smelled like uh, she smelled like straight up smegma. Oh, <laughs> oh. But uh. We talk. Uh, That's it. We talk some Astrobots. Yeah, you'll yeah, get let's talk about those. Cause I don't know much about these things. Um, all I know yeah, is I I'll, I will have them tomorrow. Oh, nice. these guys. That's yeah. Good. So, uh, what was the name of the company that's, that's putting these out? Um, Hobby Miser. Miser. Yeah. Miser. Hobby Miser. Hobby Miser. Yeah, I mean they 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 apparently made these. <laughs> is just, it really? Is that the real name? That's what's in, in on the yeah. picture here. In Yiddish, Miser means tight ass. Mm. <laughs> they, they look like they are, okay. you know, squeezing it. They're from, yeah. they're from uh, Toy Notch, is the... Yeah, that's it, Toy the, Notch, yeah. I like the name better, tight ass. Yeah. Hobby tight ass. Hobby tight ass. I don't know. I've heard people like these. I mean, I've heard some good things about them. I mean, they're not from me, I don't think. I mean, unless I uh, you know, messed around with them, but I've heard some good things about them. Oh, it looks right. like it's got the dream articulation. Like, it looks like I'm just looking at pictures on Big Bad, and it's just, wow. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I saw an uh, early report from someone. I think it was Ben or someone. Evangelist. And the. Uh, Oh, yeah. The the waist articulation is insane. The waist and abdomen, it's insane. Mm. That's good. So you'll have to tell us about it next week. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I'm looking forward to yeah, getting them tomorrow. The yeah. like, the thing about me is like, I like I like articulated hands. I, I'm a I'm a nut for you know good articulated hands on a finger. A finger. Well, a well, you <laughs> they have them. I have like the uh, the fans toys that Mega Supreme jerk me off. Mm. God dang. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Uh, but no, it's like uh, I brought the uh, I brought the um, the um, Maso one um, Optimus to the meetup, and like a lot of people were, you know, like curious about what it was, and then they started playing with it, and noticed like how um, cool the hands are on it, and um, the thing I like about uh, you know like the, the, you know the hands are just they're they're very natural. They're not like Keith hands where they're really spindly and they they you know. They don't really do what fall you need off. them to do. Yeah, the fingers fall off. off. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> but um, you know, these kind of remind me of the fan, the fans' toys, Jetfire, Skyfire hands, where they're pinned, they can spread. Um, you can get them I really love them. dynamic poses, and they're um, they're they're one twelve, they're like one twelve scale robots. They're balanced really well, and uh, on top of all that, they've got uh. They've got uh, LEDs in the eyes. I, I got both of them coming. Um, I didn't notice that they weren't straight up repaints. I thought that they um, they were like, you know, one was just one, the blue and gray and orange, and the other one was black, gray and and or, and orange. But actually, the the um, sculpts are completely different throughout the 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 two of them. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So. The faces look really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing too. Is like I, I like the uh, the, the kind of like the um, more skeletal face on uh, Argus and or Apollo. And the other one's called Argus, and um, yeah, I was watching D Amazing's review of it the other day, and, and I'm just I'm I'm really hyped for him. So now, are are they six cents? Uh, are they six inches tall or slightly taller? Than them? Um, they're slightly taller than they're like the size of a Marvel Legends build a figure. The uh, the specs Good. on here says seven inches exactly. Yeah, so Good. they would be menacing. Yeah. Necklace. Yeah, I mean like now I want one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll get to you'll get to see it pretty soon. You know, seventy bucks if you're interested. Yeah, mm, that's not horrible. Yeah, that's no, it's, it's not bad. Um, I you know, Wait, I, do they come with accessories? <laughs> I'm not they, seeing any. They come with batteries. That's it. Oh. So, oh, man. Yeah, they that's... Gotta go and clear. They gotta go and clear it's those things. They will. They will. Yeah. Yeah. 70 might be a little bit too much because they don't transform and don't have accessories. Yeah, that's like one thing is like the Unrustables did right. The Unrustable Bastards, they had like more accessories you could shake a, a stick at. But then, yeah, you know, good. I've got all these damn extra MMC accessories, you know, lying around. I could, I could probably give these guys something. Um, I, I want to make like some steel girders and give them those and have them like walking around with them. <laughs> so I don't actually see them in stock anywhere. So you might um, be saved from that. CF oh, Source geez. was the only place I knew that had them so far. Now they're out. They're out now. Okay. Oh, hang on. Let me check China. What are they called? They're, uh, Astro the, uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hang on. Do, 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 do. It's interesting though they're getting a lot of buzz on like transformer sites. I mean that's who you'd market it to, right? That just it seems like a, a natural fit to me. Yeah. While he's looking it up, let's talk for a second about how Big Bad has got pre orders for two different Unicrons. That one is uh two hundred dollars and one is uh and then the one that came out before the the encore was 150 for that same armada yeah, yeah. unicron. Yeah, so and that 200 bucks, man, is asinine. 200 well, bucks is ridiculous. It, it absolutely is because the other one is the Amazon. Um, <laughs> yes, the Amazon. Yeah. One, sorry. Yeah. And what's crazy about that is I got that for 60 bucks in I want to say 2010 or 2011. <laughs> um. And and you know, no, it had to have been 2011. <clears throat> In fact, I'm gonna go through my my email. 25th. Okay. Um. Let's see. I think 2013 was the end of the good price. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh man, um, these Astrobots are cheap. What are they uh, in China? Uh, I'm just doing the conversion now, but it's 310, which is drum roll. 
Uh, without postage, they're 46. Oh, that's not bad. Say that again, you cut out for me. 46 US dollars plus post. Hmm. Not bad. Um, so I'm looking now. I got that Unicron September 2011. And it was fifty nine ninety nine with with uh with uh yeah fifty nine ninety nine flat. And then the Amazon uh, one had more movie accurate colors, did it not? It did, yeah. Because at yeah. the same time, mm-hmm. Takara was coming out with theirs, and it it went for more of like a flat, um, you know, it was like orange, gray, you know, more matte colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he came, he came with promise. To, I have three of them. I don't have that. I don't have that one. The Takara one with the uh, that matches up with that promise. You have the black one too. I got the, yeah, I got the, the Armada Energon yeah. and the um, uh, the Amazon one. Amazon. Yeah, I actually Armada one. Review. Someone requested a review of uh, doing this. So I'll be doing a review on Unicron soon. I mean, for my money, he's a good. F- I think he's held up pretty decently over time. I mean, well, <clears throat> as far as being the only transformable Unicron toy that we've ever gotten, uh, it meant to represent ish the movie version, you know, not the yeah. prime one with the little was it volcano thing or whatever. But he had excellent, excellent joints and excellent articulation. Yeah, but yeah, two hundred dollars is steep for an Armada. Um... Armada is that the one hundred dollars? The Armada one? Yeah. Wow. Amazon is going about for two hundred on eBay, but I don't see the Armada yeah. one. It's just it's a straight like... up re-release. There's no change at all that I can see. Well, you know what's what's sad is people are going, oh well, that's the price they're going for on the aftermarket, and that that's yeah. used. I'm like, yeah, but still, you know. And in fact, it. I gotta tell you, I don't see. I don't see uh, included uh, what's his name Dead End was that the the micromaster or the the yeah. little dude that came well with it's him? it's Kra- well oh wait wow yeah um Encore Unicron I, yeah well he's no in the second sh- no wow no I don't see him and he's not mentioned in the uh, box content either yeah I don't know what the Japanese Uh-oh. one came with that's messed up hang on sorry to go back to this but those Astrobots they're being sold by on Taobao anyway by Planet Steel Express. Huh. Which Very is MMC. That's interesting. Yeah, that's. I mean, every store I look at uses the same photos. And those photos originate on Planet Steel Express. And what was you? What did you say the price was pre-shipping? Forty something. Uh, forty-six or something. Thirty. 40. Sixty-three Australian. Which is, it's going to be under under American. Okay. Plus shipping, so you probably end up paying the same as uh, what Zero did. Yeah, like sixty-seven dollars. Yeah. Hmm. So, what we got next? What we're gonna do? Zero has shit luck sometimes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so so as I mentioned, oh, I got I got I got two broken figures this week, and I think uh, Matt and T Man wanted to kind of uh, not really riff on my luck. So Hashtag much, like, zero luck. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I get a, I get a lot of broken figures, so I kind of wanted to talk and see like what you guys get. Do you have the same issue? Do you ever, you know, because I know, you know, especially Deluxe gets a lot of third party figures as well. You know, Adrian started to get into it, and um, I, I think my statistic is about one in six figures I get are either broken or have a defect, and uh, you know. Wow. Yeah, you know, it is what it is, but that's why I'm, like, very big about opening my stuff up. Um, um, I'm probably at, like, 1 in 25. Wow. I think, I think I've only had – what have I got here? I've probably got 100-odd bots here. Oh, less, probably a bit less. And I've probably only had two or three broken ones. There you go. I haven't had any broken ones. I broke my, RC. My yeah, mine aren't even broken. Like it's a fault. So Giga Power has like a paint fault on my sludge. And... Oh well, that happens. Yeah, but I mean something yeah. like coming in. I have not had anything come to me shipped that has been broken. Detached ever? No, I, mean, I yeah, haven't either. Detached, I've had so. I've had nothing. Nothing. I think, I think we're, we're, in- good. we're including mishaps too, like something being misassembled. Well, yeah, I can say say misassemblies, yeah, sure. you know. I don't think I've anything misassembled either. 
I was gonna say I'm my my most things. egregious has been uh, Make Toys Thunder uh, Air, or no yeah Thunder Manus. Um, I got that thing in the end of February, and uh, for anybody that has it, when you when you form the full robot with all the parts, um, with the god armor, he's got those little bits that plug into his calf. I got one that was complete. The clip was shredded off completely. I, I don't know how the hell that happened, but it, it came out of the box like that. There was no way to uh, clip it in. And I won't mention the retailer by name, but I got the replacement part for that like a month ago. And that was in February. We're recording this right now in July. <laughs> well, from the same <laughs> from the same retailer, I had uh, you know the, the little hammers that you could get as an add-on for movie movie masterpiece Bumblebee. Mm-hmm. I ordered two of them. I ordered one for myself, one for T Man, and one of them came without um, without um, a handle. A handle. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, I mean, it was a $5 part. And I'm like, I'll just buy another one. But they learned, that retailer learned my name, uh, uh, <laughs> whether they liked it or not, because I bugged the shit out of them every week. I, <laughs> I pinged them like, hey, guys, hey, remember me? Where's my part? And they're like, uh, well, it's coming, man. And then they sent me the wrong yeah. part at one point, And, you know, I'm like, hey, thanks for the part, but it ain't the right one, guys. So, Lux, he's trying to do your voice, man. He's doing a bit there. It was a bit. Yeah, it was trash. It was trash. <laughs> I mean, straight trash. No, it's all right. Don't, don't, don't try to apologize. Trash. Oh, I was gonna say. I wasn't gonna apologize. I was gonna say I did it well. Yeah. Oh. No, you didn't do it well. You did trash. Yeah, yeah you, you did trash. That, can you get that? That's okay. Faulty. Faulty system there. It's you can't right. hear me that well. You couldn't hear T Man and just shout. <laughs> <laughs> He's on that Chromebook. He's got that Chromebook. I couldn't hear him for real. <laughs> Quit being salty. Quit being salty, but I could not hear him at all. I had to disconnect, come back again. I thought, you were, I, I thought you were trolling him hard. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was laughing my ass off. I was hey, not trolling him at all. Do you, you gentlemen mind if I run away early? No, man, go, go do your thing. It's fine. All right, nice talking to you guys. Um, yeah. I'll catch you next week. Next week, man. Uh, <laughs> nice. Go to it. Nice. Peace, guys. See you. We can talk hey, about parts, it. Um, did you try to contact Make Toys personally first? I did not. I went back to because they they didn't. If they would have told me it was going to be that long to uh, to replace the part, I probably would have, but... They kept making it sound like, oh yeah, it's on the next shipment. It's it's coming, man. And I'm like, okay. And and that was the line they fed. By the t- and then by the time it, it finally came, it would have been I don't know. I'd have felt weird, but like, hey, make toys. I got this thing months ago. <laughs> you know, yeah. my retailer's been jerking me around. Can you guys fill in the gaps? So no, I didn't try contacting them direct. I might do that next time if there is. Yeah, a next time, time. I'm contact them first. Cause I got my faces for jazz in like two weeks. I yeah, got, I remember you saying that, which that now that did make me salty. I'm like, well, son of a bitch. <laughs> I got a direct contact with them now, but they'll they'll charge you for the pieces just as a heads up. Yeah, they they will. It's uh it's this dude Doug over there. So Doug W. Yeah, they got the uh, just over the reissues of uh, at Walmart, the Star Screen oh, Illustrator and, uh, eight mini bots. I'm I'm in for those. Oh I think yeah, I heard about I think, that. I think it's yeah. really exciting to see those fig like you know, just like with G two we're talking about that. I think it's exciting to, to you know go back into a store and see those hanging up on the pegs. Yeah, I can't wait for i I'm definitely getting Star Screen. I might pick up a I'm hot rod. Yeah. I want yeah, a hot rod and Star hot Screen. Ride. I do that mini bots too. I have a Devastator uh, gift set. I won't. I don't worry about that. But uh, mini bots, definitely Star Screen. Let me get two of Star Screen. One open and keep it in box, and then um, definitely a Hot Rod probably. Yeah, I'm in for. Hot Look, Rod. I haven't seen them yet. Have y'all seen them any in Walmart yet? I haven't seen them yet. Are they out yet? No, I haven't seen. Them. I thought Hot Rod was close. He he might be. Uh, he's out in some places. They're, I think. I don't know about the states. Now. They're showing up on the aftermarket, from what I understand, because uh, somebody had said that the Hot Rod they cr- they color corrected the stickers on the side of them. Because mm-hmm. if you remember, like the original G1 Hot Rod, he had like the wrong color uh, stickers on the side. Because they uh, did they not match the front sticker. Well. They were like a different shade, if I remember correctly. Um, okay. So these are uh, the Starscream ones supposed to be released um, sometime soon. Sometime around August, July or August or something? 
Okay. TFW Smart. claims that the hot rod uh, starts shipping June 1st, so apparently that is out yeah. from what I see. What they're saying. It might be. I mean, with Walmart, they're weird. They they, they take time, their their sweet time to put shit on the shelf anymore. Um, so, I think that's awesome. They got the rub sign on there. That's yeah. cool. That's gonna be. That's gonna be price, cool to walk in. We know the prices on stuff. Uh, they haven't given prices. Yet. Well, let me see if that. Let me click on this. See if it gives prices. I think Hot Rod was like twenty bucks, maybe. So Star Screen probably twenty five ish. Um, I'll, I'll be shocked if they're that low because yeah, they're like thirty dollars at Toys R Us. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see them probably twenty bucks for Star Screen. The Devastator, uh, the Devastator gift set, probably forty to fifty. Wow. Um, yeah. I don't see no prices. They don't. They don't have any prices for them yet. Yeah, Star Screen was under forty. I, I will get him. Oh, he'll definitely be under forty. Yeah, I see Star Screen maybe twenty. 25. I think Hot Rod's 20, I think. But I, I see Star Screen about 25. Hasbro tries to skyrocket those prices on those G1 races. Oh, I, think they'll be, I think they'll be reasonably priced. I forgot that? all about BrickSeek. You guys already used BrickSeek? I forgot oh, all about that. Yeah. I'm looking that up now. When the, when, the S, when the SNES Classic was coming out and the NES Classic was out. Oh, yeah. I guess that's it. What else we got? Anything else we got? Or we gonna talk some cyberverse? Oh yeah, the new. Uh, it's gonna be a new cartoon. Yeah, I, and you know what? It it, it kind of nice. has an animated vibe to it, and I'm digging it. it. Does. Mm -hmm. I'm digging it. Um, are you seeing previews already? I haven't seen any previews of the animation, but you know, if you uh, if you go on um, if if you're looking on on TFW, they've got some pictures of the cast, and it's, oh, yeah. it's characters I've you might not that. all expect. Um, they definitely look animated. Yeah. yeah, I was shocked that they have like two female Decepticons. Yeah, Shadow Striker and uh, Slipstream. Yeah, that was Starscream looks. Starscream looks like a teenager kind of. Yeah. They all look kind of teenagerish, except for Megatron. Willjack is looking old with the porn stash. What I'm liking <laughs> so far yeah. is there's a lot of robots. And there's not mm -hmm. any humans that they're showing off. That's good. Yet. You know, yet. Yeah. Show Thunder Crackers. Soundwave looks good. Shockwave looks good. They all look oh. pretty good. Um, even Windblade I hope, doesn't look too bad. I hope they're part of the War for Cybertron toy line as well, these designs. Because I want that Soundwave in a, a generation design. I mean, they're... they're I think this looks cool. Is Shadow Striker supposed to be a Seeker? Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah, it looks like it. Because it's hard What's to it? tell from here. Wasn't that Beast Machines? Was she Beast oh, wait. Machines? Look, looking at her wings, she's going to be a repaint of Windblade. Yeah, yeah, I see that. You're right. You're right. I like how Prime has the um, upper chest and then he's got the animated waist yeah. kind of thing going on. <laughs> And Grimlock, like, Grimlock kind of looks like the R.I.D. one from just the, the recent R.I.D. kind of a little bit. Yeah. But then Cyber. They must have really liked that. Wait, there's Bumblebee just, looks heroic. There's a sideburn? <laughs> yeah, Grimlock. I just I saw someone make a comment like oh. he's got some crazy sideburn. Yeah, yeah. I can oh. see that. He's got vents like uh, Starscream, kind of. I think it's interesting um, they're using Acid Storm. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I got some repaints going. Yeah, but you notice like Hot Rod looks really good. It's like Acid Storm and Thundercracker are the same, but Starscream's <laughs> different from. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's true. I didn't notice that. Slipstream is different from yeah. too. So maybe Slipstream cool. has Starscream's body. <laughs> and then it was pointed out. I think. Yeah. It was I think it was Ben on Twitter. He all pointed out that Shockwave has got a little mini Shockwave head on top of his big Shockwave head. He does. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> now I, I can't. Know, I, look the I, up. Can, I can't unsee it. <laughs> Here, I'll throw it. I'll throw it in the. Uh... So, is this going to be on Cartoon Network, or is this going to be another Go uh, 90 or Pro 90 or GoPro or whatever? Oh, well, it ain't going to be that. Um, I think I... they're going to be a real show. Yeah, it is going to be a real okay. show, but I don't know like what network it's going to be on. Um, 
That'd be cool. I hope it's on Cartoon Network or something. Something big. It says we'll, we'll, Transformers debut, it says we'll debut in September for international markets. Yeah. Eh, fuck international markets. <laughs> <laughs> Not Australia. Yeah. Uh, uh, first of all, the toys in Australia. So they have, uh, they have already got this. They've uh, got toys out already in Australia. Yeah. Hey, just as Adrian leaves, that's probably what he's doing, is going to Kangaroo, awesome kangaroo Mart. And, uh, oh, that's <laughs> cool. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to this. It's okay. it's neat. <coughs> I hope it brings. I hope it brings new life. Breathes new life to uh, Transformers. Yeah, I just want some some. So I know a lot of people's gonna hate it. I know. You know, all the third party and masterpiece collectors. I know they're gonna hate this because they hate you know everything. But um, I, I'm excited for this. I just want some good fun fiction. That's that's all I want. Like something that's like, man, you know, I didn't want the toy before, but now I want it. You know. Yeah, that, that was animated, man. That was the power of animated. Yeah. Like that show, that that was that that show just knocked you for a loop. I mean, I, I didn't give it a chance at first, and then went back. I'm like, this is an amazing show. It made me want to retroactively go back and buy all the figures. I got some like, good figures in that line too. Yeah, it was like the power of Beast Wars. I didn't, too. I didn't like animated until I saw the toys actually look like the cartoon. When I saw the cartoon, I was like, there's no way in hell that the toys are going to be able to look like that. And then they proved me wrong. Yeah, they got some and good they were toys. quality. They Those toys were quality too. Yeah, there was. That was my first Botcon when uh, the animated come out. Uh, the the lineup for uh, David K and Bumblebee was there. The guy did the voice of Bumblebee, and um, they were there at the first Botcon I went to. And that's when um, they released they released the toys early for that area. And I remember getting uh, the first one, wave one and wave two, uh, real quick and everything. And, uh, that was around two thousand eight. Cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was around the Kentucky. Uh, it was the uh, Bacon in Cincinnati. So they released it like around Cincinnati and Kentucky nice. and all that stuff. And um, I got the first wave, and they were selling. I remember they were, oh, my God. People went to the Walmarts and fucking were scalping the shit out of them. They were selling deluxes <laughs> for like $35. But luckily I found the first wave at a, at a Walmart. And then on the way home, uh, across around Kentucky, I think at a Kmart, that uh, wave two came out. And, yeah, that was uh, Grimlock and Bulkhead were the Voyagers for that, weren't they? I couldn't remember, man. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, it's probably been, be honest. been a minute, but yeah, I, I, remember, oh, yeah. I remember that was the one I was the, the most excited for, was going and finding that Grimlock. And, uh, it's been 10 years, dude. That's 10 years. Man. I know. Fuck. I know. I remember, I remember at the time, my girlfriend at the time was like, was actually had to get, had to get a second Grimlock because uh, for whatever reason, she loved that dinosaur mode. Yeah, that was neat. <laughs> That's cool. I was hoping they put out all the dinosaurs. Um, but they only put out two, him and Sludge. No, they did Swoop too. Yeah. So they did three of them. So. And I, I love their origins. They were animatronic, and then the, the skin burned off of them, and they, they became like the, the Dinobots after that. I had to go back and watch that cartoon. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it, yeah, it was good. All right. All right. Well, oh, this has been fun. Been. All right, guys. Yeah. Anything else anybody can think of? I have something yeah. random. Um, the... Okay. What's his name? B Dog sent right to me. <laughs> somebody in UK Toys R Us because they're closing down too. Somebody found a twenty-year-old Mario Kart sixty-four under the shelf. Holy still shit! Plastic. Man. It still really? has the shrink wrap on it. That's amazing. <laughs> it's this dirty, but it still has the shrink wrap on man, it. Man, I wonder if he. I wonder if any of the older. Toys R Us that were closing down found some stuff in there. They had to have found some stuff, man. Old stock. Yeah. They must they have found G1 them. Transformers. Dude, I oh, would shit uh, a brick if I go back there and fucking found a, just a whole pallet of fucking G1 so Transformers. People just are finding uh, Spider Man 2 stuff at their Toys R Us. Mine brought oh, yeah. out a whole bunch of old tra How to Train Your Dragon crap. And, um, you know, it was interesting to see. Uh, how how like they were getting stuff from the warehouses, but it wasn't like you know that was even distribution at all. It was like you know T Man found me like one of the twelve inch Wolverines. Oh really? Yeah, that's cool. There was a at least a hundred of them on the show. Yeah, <laughs> he had Babies R Us getting the Grotusk sets. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. yeah, I saw a mess of that, and I was like, God dang! I was worse. I was hoping that was RC. I was gonna have Matt pick me one up. I dug for I have man. a task already. I dug for RCs. I did not see a one in that list. Yeah. It got so bad they had to put a sign up that said, "Please don't open boxes. They are all the same." <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, that was a whole lot. I was like, damn. Yeah, I already had grotesques, but it's like, oh well. Really cool. What else cool you got, T? Well, folks, well, no. that's a good show. Hope y'all liked it. I think T's got one more thing. You got one more thing? Go for it, brother. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Hey. The deluxe. Um, on Toro, can you tell which part is the diecast? Because he's heavy. But I can't. Uh, I can't does he have diecast on him at all? I, I don't think he I don't does. Know. It feels like it. I don't think he does, man. He's just got he's, heavy plastic. Yeah, I think he's thick plastic and uh, he's, a, he's, he's a, really a, a lot of backpack yeah, he, and a little luck. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of backpack. But I don't, I don't think the. If they would have maybe put some on the feet, maybe if they could have, but I don't. I really don't think they did put any diecast because you, it's not cold to the touch at all. Yeah, I'm gonna put them in a the refrigerator. And see if cold I can touch use technique. The cold touch technique. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he's well, he's got uh, really good plastic and really good engineering. So I I yeah. don't think they did uh, diecast for him. Well, I'm done. I don't have anything else. Cool. All right. Okay. Cool. That was a fun show. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Night, folks. <laughs> have have a good night, everybody. No, no, right. keep on talking, dude. Just ask that guy. Oh. That mean you have to stop talking. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm saying, I'm saying, saying good night to the audience. Well, I'm yeah, going to say, I hope, I hope everybody is enjoying listening to this, because I know we're enjoying recording it. And, uh, you know, once these finally get up, I hope we get uh, get posted. I hope we get some feedback. You know, guys, throw us some questions. Throw, throw us some positive or negative feedback, whatever you want. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll read it, um, talk about you, you know. <laughs> and, uh for sure. And, uh, and uh, yep, and uh, hopefully uh, continue improving the show and make it something that everybody would be excited to listen to. Uh, I agree with that. <laughs> a second, or exactly. a third, a third that notion. I farted that. <laughs> earlier, that's what I was hoping for. Earlier sounded like firecrackers, and I was like, oh no, wait. I did for I did for one time. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why we asked. It felt for good. It felt good. I'm just going to say, I'm going to put that out there. All right, man. Well, that's good. All right. All right, guys. Are we done? Do we get recording? Yeah. I think we're All right. done. I got to go watch a movie.